Today in the news, we got a whole day of RTX 3060 from availability to gaming to mining performance. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. I've been talking about it for a while, but a little reminder that this Thursday is supposed to be when Nvidia launches their RTX 3060 for $329, and unfortunately, you probably won't find it at this price, thanks to the tariffs, scalpers, and because board partners mostly launched their super premium versions for way too much money first. Heck. There have been reports that the RTX 3060 is already marked up at some undisclosed US retailers. Look at that, for example. 515 bucks for a gaming X Trio. That's insanity. Anyways, last week, we were told that the cards was gonna be no bueno for mining, which either made people hopeful that they'd actually get a card, but it also angered some folks who like to use their GPUs for mining when they're not gaming. We'll talk about mining later, but what about the stock? Well, let's go back to the 3070. They said it would be better than the 3080 and 3090, and it was, but by a little bit. How about the 3060 Ti? Once again, it was still pretty tough, but the 3060 Ti was still shipped in higher numbers than all of the other models. And right now, it looks like, thanks to some info I got from retailers in the US, Canada, and Europe, yeah, I got connections, it looks like the RTX 3060 is going to hit above those levels in a big way. Some of the guys I talked to are expecting inventory that's larger than all of the other cards combined. Yep, combined. But I guess that's uh, to be expected, since if the GTX 1060 and RTX 2060 are any indication, the 3060 should be the lineup's most popular GPU. So they need a lot of them to satisfy their audience. Like every other launch in the last half decade, they sell out very quickly too. So you better be quick on the trigger. The good news is that after the first batch, a lot of the stores are expecting frequent resupplies, but you know, at insane prices. Now, will that stop miners and scalpers from getting them? Nah. Another interesting bit of information I got is a bit sadder. Last week, the massive storm, Yuri, ripped across the US, and if you're in one of those impacted areas dealing with the aftermath, my heart and thoughts go out to you. It affected millions of people and caused havoc with major shipping and transport hubs that will unfortunately probably lead to a whole lot less RTX 3060s in store across the country, but it also means that you'll probably have a better chance getting one after after launch. Moving on, but sticking with the RTX 3060, how's it gaming? Well, we don't have normal AAA title benchmarks or even a 3D Mark benchmark, but if we look at what's available right now, aka the ashes of the Singularity benchmark, of course, it would apparently be about 19% faster than its predecessor, the RTX 2060. At $20 less than the launch MSRP for the 2060 and about $30 more than the last price the latter sold at, I don't know how I feel about this, but let me reframe it differently for it to sound a lot better. It's apparently 9% faster than the RTX 2070. <laughs> Is that better? In any case, it's still a nice performance bump, but two years later with a price 10% higher than what its Turing counterpart last sold at, yeah, it's not the savior of GPUs. And now to tie up the RTX 3060 bow, it was said by the big green that Ethereum mining performance of this GPU would be halved. Well, we now have some actual numbers, thanks to a YouTuber from Georgia. Nope, not this Georgia, this Georgia. This YouTuber named Crypto Leo paid $800 to get his hands on a uh, fell out of the truck model, and he's been testing the mining. Since he didn't have access to Nvidia's reviewer drivers, he fooled the driver into thinking that he was installing an RTX 3070. I guess that was inevitable, just didn't think it would happen before launch. Thankfully, or not depending on which side of the issue you are, that wasn't enough of a workaround to undermine Nvidia's new block. The hash rate started strong at about 45 mega hashes per second, but then it quickly dropped down to 28 and eventually a steady 26 mega hashes once it detected that it was mining Ethereum. That's a 42% drop. Clearly, it's less of a driver block, but more of a vBIOS block. And it really does only target Ethereum, at least at the moment. CryptoLeo showed that uh, other algorithms like Conflux and Cortex are still very profitable. The 3060 
60 can get you about six and a half dollars per day with Ethereum, while the other two algorithms will generate a solid four to five dollars per day. So will that stop miners and scalpers from buying 3060s? Say it again with me, boys. Nah, especially once really talented and money focused hackers start working on stripping those new limitations from the VBIOS. But as we mentioned earlier, the RTX 3060 should have a lot more supply compared to the other models. So fingers crossed, you should be able to buy one sometimes near launch day. And by near, I mean after, because I mean, unless you spend 800 bucks. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. It's all RTX 3060. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to my channel, on my shirt to pause the video if you want to. I don't know why you would. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.